Joining us now is uh, Tom Owen Evans after Hereford's victory over Brackley. How good a win was that? Uh, a massive win. Um, they were top of the form table. I think they sat fourth in the league. Uh, nine games unbeaten, something like that. So um, it's a massive win. A lot of team ethic as well. A lot of work out there. That seems to be paying dividends now. Definitely. Um, I mean, you can see how much of a tight-knit group we are. I mean, today is, is more of a battle. We didn't really... We weren't able to play. All. We, we went in there and said after the game, we've not really played that that good of football tonight, but we've still come away with three points and I deserve three points. I thought we were comfortable in the game and we've done the, the, the dirty work, if you like, um, really, really well tonight. I mean, Grimesy, Hainsey, everyone were unbelievable tonight and I, I think you can see that. You can see that Hereford had done the homework as well. You knew that Brackley were a difficult team to break down. Definitely. We knew, we knew that, that you know they're organised team and... Um, and uh, yeah, they're hard to beat and they're, they're very organised and they do the simple things well. But um, I think one of their lads said, uh, I think it might have been to Vaughan at the end, the, the way that you lot press is unbelievable. And you could see that we put them under pressure and, and made them uncomfortable at the back. And we deserve the three points tonight. I think we're, we're the only team that's looked like we we're going to win it. You're one of the longest serving Hereford FC players now. How much better is this team, would you say, to the teams that you've been involved with up until now? Definitely, I think... Um, we've got a team that can that first and foremost works really hard for each, for for the gaffer and for each other, um, and and also has has quality and can play football. But like I said, we can do both sides of the game really well, and I think that showed tonight. Where we didn't maybe play as well, we we grinded and we stayed together, and there's a great team spirit between us, which is massive. And um, like I said, we deserved three points. What do you think you can achieve? It's such a truncated, strange season. What do you think you can achieve this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen, so we're, we're, we're fully focused. Obviously, we've still got the trophy as well, so all the boys and the gaffer and all the staff are fully focused on, on you know, keeping this run going. I think we're nine unbeaten now, so, um, you know, I, we, we're, we're fully focused on, on keeping that run going and, and we really want to do that. And, you know, we've got the trophy to look forward to and I'm not sure what's going to happen with the league games, who's going to play or whatever, but, um, yeah, we're, we're fully focused on, on carrying this run going. And what seems to be the case is that you're matching teams right at the top, the likes of Fylde, the likes of Kidderminster and now Brackley. Yeah, I mean, the gaffer said that before the game. Every team that's come here um, that's been at the top of the league, uh, we've dominated them. And um, I think you can see that tonight. We've we, we done the dirty work and we matched Brackley for that. And then a bit of quality uh, with, for instance, Cammy's goal shined through and got us the three points. What would your preference be? Would it be to continue the season? irrespective of what would happen resolution-wise, as players, you, you must just want to carry on. Of course, of course. Um, I, know, I know all the boys will feel the same as me, that we've got a good team and we think we can do something special here. And for me personally, it's, it's been my best start to a season so far. Um, you, you, I'd be gutted if it, if, it, if it gets null and void or whatever they're going to do. Um, I'm sure all the boys will feel the same way. You know, it's, it, It'll be tough, but... Um, it's, it's, it's out of our hands, there's nothing we can do about it. we just got to focus on the next game and um, stay fit and, and prepared for, for what's ahead of us. You mentioned fitness there. I mean, uh, when fitness levels get to this stage, you need to keep them there, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we've, like Gaffer said, other teams won't be doing what we've been doing. We've been, we've been in training, we've been playing matches every weekend, friendlies against each other, other teams, uh, keeping up the work. You know what I mean? We, we had a game Saturday, so all the boys are fit and... Like I said, everyone, everyone's prepared and everyone knows their job and everyone's ready to go. Well, well done tonight and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see you in, in the weeks to come. Thank you. Appreciate that.